Hello, this is a short video describing the phenomenon of bounding pulses in aortic regurgitation. So, aortic regurgitation is a valvular defect of the aortic valve right here, and there's a number of different causes of this which we will not go into right now. But if this is your heart, this is your right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle, and this is the aorta coming off of the left ventricle, this right here in the red box would be your aortic valve. Now what happens in aortic regurgitation is the valvular defect of the aortic valve um, makes it unable to fully close during diastole. And so you have return of blood back into the left ventricle. What the body does, what the heart does to try and compensate for this is during systole, the left ventricle will actually contract harder, increasing your stroke volume. And so it will try really hard to contract so that it can get the blood all the way where it needs to go before it can come back into the left ventricle. And so what happens with this increase in stroke volume is that, let's say this is your heart, here's your aorta coming down, here's your iliacs. And what happens with the um, in systole is that you have rapid distension of the... Um, peripheral arteries and a rapid rise in systolic blood pressure. And then because of the return to the left ventricle of the blood, you have a rapid collapse of the peripheral arteries and a decrease in diastolic blood pressure. Um, this will also, or it's kind of part of it, will show up as widened pulse pressure, which is um, a increase in the difference between the systolic and diastolic blood pressures. Bounding pulses is also known as a water hammer pulse. Okay, that's it for this. Bounding pulses in aortic regurgitation. Bye.